application instance on IBM Cloud using Cloud Foundry. Let us start with just create a resource. We select a Cloud Foundry to do that. Then we have the option to use this public. I will create a public Cloud Foundry application because later on we want also to use a public URL to access our application. I press create. When I press create, the only thing I have to know for this situation, if I am in a hackathon, that Cloud Foundry has organizations and spaces and locations where we run our instance. At the moment, as default, I have the region Dallas, for example. If I want to run these in Germany, for example, in this location, this data center, my instance, I have no space, Cloud Foundry space in Frankfurt, in Germany. So that means I have to create a space in this area. That's all. So I go to Cloud Foundry org. That's my org. I my, that's my default org. You get a default org when you register at IBM Cloud, and then I add my space here. I just say Germany. I say dev here create, and then I have a um, space in Germany. With these, I can select. Frankfurt. So as yeah, okay, you can see Frankfurt. Oh yeah. Once again, all caches here. Now you can see here Frankfurt. Now we can run our Cloud Foundry application in Frankfurt. But the runtime is here Java. Okay. If I want to select the Python. You can see there are several different runtimes easily to use and easily to create sample applications from it and change it and run it. I give the application a name. That's the unique name. <laughs> That's the unique name later at the internet. So the application name is first of all we will see inside IBM Cloud, but the host name, that's the name of uh, the URL in combination with the domain. So we have hackathon sample, and this is domain information. Organization, let us give also a um, tag to easily find it, and that's all. And then we can say we want to create the application. And we directly guide it to the application instance. We directly get the information how to get started with this Python application. Uh, before we begin with all of this, if you want to do this locally, we get the information we have to install the IBM Cloud CLI, Git and Python, for example. No, not for example, for sure. If you have a, a, a Python application, we need to also install Python on the local machine to run it. It shows how to clone the sample application which is instantiated in our situation and we can also run it. All these are the steps which are given and then we can see how to prepare our own deployment, what we have to take care of and how to deploy the new changed app, new change on your local machine to IBM Cloud and for example also to add a database here in our situation, a cloud and database. So that's all we have to take care. Here is an overview of the application instance itself. We can see we have one running application instance here in Germany of our hackathon sample. We use the memory size of 100 28. Currently, in the moment of cost, we have the uh, runtime information at this inform uh, at this moment. What is utilized by uh, CPU and memory uh, connections that's related to the Cloud Foundry for the recap variable, but that's not at the moment what we take care of. Yeah, this was just to bridge the gap until the application was started and here it is started. We have a running sampling application. I would say it's 
less than three minutes. Is it right? Three minutes maximum happen a running application on the internet available for everyone. So isn't that cool? So if you want to also to try it out for yourself on IBM Cloud, go into the description below, create your own instance, Python application instance on IBM Cloud. If you do not have an IBM Cloud account, create your own IBM Cloud account. It's for free. It's a light account. There is no additional cost, no credit card needed. Yeah, try it out and have fun in hackathons. I like it. It is very easy to instantiate and to work with. Cloud Foundry instances. Okay, let's see what's next. Bye.